Hey guys, Joe and coming in, got another battle replay for you here on Total War Rome 2. Welcome back to the land of sieges. We do have a 3v3 siege here on the settlement of Tullo for Doom. Town center for that is way up over there on the back hill. But alright, let's get into the army compositions. We'll start off looking first at the defenders. Uh, we have an Arverni here being commanded by Weedy G. Do have a unit of his chosen swordsman over there. Then we do have a Carthage being commanded by Killacam 2020. Awesome. And then we do have a Saba back over here being commanded by Simo Heha. Simo Heha. All right. Getting into the attackers, we will first look here at Salucid being commanded by Ceiling Fan. And he has brought 10 units of Thorax Swordsmen, 3 Silver Shield Swordsmen, 2 Thorax Pikemen. General is a Royal Peltast, and he has four units of the Syrian Heavy Archers there. The Peltast is kind of like a weird... Oh, no. Oh, the Syrians are getting shot. Oh, okay, that's not good. That is not good. Uh, his first ally here we do have is Athens. Don't really see our Athens very much, at least on attack. Uh, Athens here being commanded by Oversteer 2. And he has brought eight units of Thorax Swordsman, four Thoreo Spears. General is Hippaeus Lancer. He also has three Cretan Archers, one regular Archer, one Citizen Cavalry, and a Giant Ballista. And then we have a Rome being commanded by Sir Life Pantiho? Pantiho? I think? I don't know. I wrote his name on the screen. Uh, he has four units of Armored Legionnaires, four Evocati Cohort, three Praetorian Guard, two Legionnaire Cohort, two Hastati. General is a Legatus, three Syrian Archers, and a Giant Ballista himself. So there you go, guys. Army comps out of the way. Let's see how these artillery are doing before we cut it out. Uh, 27 for Arverni, 26 for Carthage, and Saba way over there. Actually, did he turn? No, he hasn't turned. He hasn't turned, but he does have. he definitely has the opportunity... To maybe get some shots in over there as Seleucid's coming in. We'll see if he ends up turning. Uh, we do have some Cretan archers that have kind of popped up out of nowhere there as well. But all right, guys, getting ready. Breach getting ready to be formed there. So let's hop in for the battle replay. Guys, breach has been made. Let's come on in here and see what we got for the defenders. We got some Levy Freeman making their way forward. A couple units of mercenary Italian swordsmen. Masagat Marauders. Good stuff there. Ooh, four units of Masagat Marauders. Some more Levy Freeman. Some chosen swords. Chosen swords and an Osworn. Woohoo! Osworn this early on. This front this far front. This far forward, I should say. For the defending Arvernia. That's actually kind of interesting to see. We'll see how well he can do, though. But they are still suffering bombardments. I believe the attackers are still firing away in there. Rome. Nope, he's not. Is Athens? I thought one of them still was. I guess not. But we do have infantry now making their way forward. Looks like maybe they're going to just try and move some of the towers out of the way. Still does have both of his units of the uh, towers here. Oh, sorry. Both of his giant ballistas on its end. So he doesn't really need to move these towers to be able to fire as well. Rome did send up a unit of the Hestati, though. Unfortunately, they are going to be immediately surrounded by some of those Italian swordsmen. There it is. I knew I heard it. I knew I heard it. Artillery fire coming in here again. Clipping some of that those one. Yeah, down 14. 14 losses. Oh, here comes another shot. Let's see. Nope, just going to hit the rock. Oh, wait. It bounced up. Oh, my God. What a lucky bounce that was. Just killed four chosen swordsmen. That's crazy. What's he at? That's got to be over here. Oh, he's only got five kills? Really? What's Rome at? 54, okay. There's a lot more kills there. Uh, Seleucid just now starting to move his towers across the water. Looks like he did pull his archers back. How many losses did they take? Did see some of them getting shot. 10 out of that unit, just 10. Okay, so not bad. 
Uh, Seleucid's still falling back his general. I don't know what this is all about. Why they're all formed like this, because that's way easier. Yeah, right there. See, like, if that shot had landed actually in the infantry unit, it would have gone in that many rows. So, yeah, you don't really want to... That, that shot landed, like, right there. So, it would have gone in that far. Same with that one. Would have would have gone in that far into the unit. So that definitely is not a way you want to have your units facing. You don't want to just stand them sideways like that, especially with wall artillery. Uh, but all right, back inside over here. First Roman unit was just completely annihilated. Oh my God. Look at all the Romans. Dead Romans. Dead Romans. How many did they kill? 59, they lost 14. I'm sorry, 24 they lost. Really? 24 kills. That unit didn't lose any. That unit didn't. Okay, so one of them lost 24. All right, here we go. Legionnaire cohort coming on over here. They're going to form into their attacking testudo. Make their way through the breach here, which, again, as we know, uh, frontal javelins or shots from the front will not really do very much damage to the Legionnaire cohort or any Roman units that have attacking testudo. But anything coming in from the side like that. That will definitely do damage, so, okay. Actually, Rome's not going to move those units in. He's going to bring some more Hestati down. There you go. Are the Thorax going to drop? Does not look like they are. But the Legionnaire Cohort now making their way. Oh, that was a brutal shot right there. Italian Swordsman just took a decent shot there. So it's good that Rome actually got his Hestati in here because that's going to stop this unit of Moscow Marauders from being able to just blast right into the flank of this uh, Legionnaire cohort as they're coming in through the walls, coming in through the breach. Just kind of hanging out, waiting. Here we go. Some, some thorax now coming down. There you go. Triple bronze chevron thorax. Really? Triple bronze. Do we have anything else back? Oh my god, we have some silver. Single silver bronze. Single silver Chevron Thorax back here. Wow. He must have had a little bit of money left over. Uh, Seleucid. Not... I don't know what he's doing. I don't know what Seleucid is doing. This must... I'm, I don't know. I don't want to just automatically presume that this player is a newer player. Uh, but we do have a little bit of newer stuff going on here right now. No archers coming up to support. The rest of his army is still sitting way back over there. Hopefully he starts moving them up though. His, well, his units haven't gotten to the wall yet, so we'll we'll not just automatically presume that uh, he might be a newer player. But it is a little bit of a newer thing right there. Definitely wants to start moving his rest of his army up. You can see Athens has moved up. I mean Rome still has his archers back, but they're they're attacking together. So Athens using his archers first, and then maybe Syrians here for Rome holding their ammo until later. Kind of makes a little bit more sense. 151 with the ballista there. 94 for Rome. Oh, he's still firing. Oh, oh, he hit his own men. That's not good. Yeah, this thorax not looking good. 15 kills. 15 kills getting taken out. 19 kills now. Less than 80 men in the unit, though. Oh, just at 80 men. That's a little rough. It is a little rough of a go. Probably not feeling good that they're getting shot in the back, though. That's probably not making that unit feel any more safe. making their way in. Where did those Legionnaires go? Legionnaire cohort. They're over here. Oh, no. They're not looking good. I mean, they're okay for right now. The morale was just down a little bit. They are recovering their morale just a little bit. Italian swords in here. 33 kills getting taken out. Rome. Yeah, I mean, it's, come on, it's Rome. Italian swords are not going to really do very much against a Legionnaire cohort. Moscow Marauders, maybe, though. They have javelins. Round up over here. We have some of the archers. Cretan archers have made their way forward. Firing in to this Italian soldier. Just going to help Rome out. Just kind of try and get this battle. This, you know, inside the walls area. It's taken up a little bit quicker. Two units of Thorax swordsmen. Or Thorax and the Thoreos kind of looking for a place to go. 
Uh, this Thorax could definitely try and come through here, but good that he's not, because he would absolutely get annihilated if he tried to press through that gap. We do see two units of the Gallic Hunters up on the ridge there, and they would do a lot of damage to this Thor. Oh, he's moving him over. All right, so for right now, they're still looking okay. But if he charges them in over here, those Gallic Hunters should be able to shred this unit. Yeah. If these two Gallics right now started firing at him, that Thorax Soldier would get just destroyed. Pretty much destroyed. They all have their shields on the opposite side, as you can see there. He's trying to form them, though, so they'll have their shields in front of them, though, which is definitely a good idea to try to do. But it doesn't even look like Arverni's firing. No, he's not. Arverni's not even shooting these two units of archers. He could be getting kills. He could be getting kills on that Thorax right now. Might even be able to get some kills on this Thoreos. Unfortunately, Arverni is not firing, though. Let's see. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We got Carthage firing, though. Just starting to go. Got that uh, quick reload to fire it off. There we go. Is he getting into those Thorax? Yes, he is. He's firing at that Thorax, and they are dropping. Down to 128 men. I think the Moscow Marauders did a good chunk of it. 66 kills for them. But yeah, this Thorax is getting dropped down pretty quick. Pretty quick. Right behind them, there's a unit of Hestati. Still around 22 men, 55 kills. Legion of Cohort there breaking 100 with only 9, now 10 losses. Wow, 175 with 51 men left in the unit. Doing very, very well. Seleucid over here. Let's see what he's up to. Getting some of his men in here. He's got a lot of units blobbed up on top of each other. Doesn't really need to be doing that. Could easily pull one of these units away and start chipping away onto the backs. Oh, no. We got Oswald. 90 kills. Lost 38 men so far. So not the greatest start for Oswald, but... I mean, they're also not really having to deal with any archers since Elucid left all four of his Syrian archers back here. I'm guessing this is a newer player. I'm guessing that it is. I I, I mean, I wasn't in the replay. I wasn't in the battle, so I can't say for sure. But uh, it's just a guess. Yeah, his Thorax is starting to get shot. Here comes the Gallic Hunters firing away. Yep, both the units of the Gallic Hunters firing into this Thorax swordsman over on this side. Thorax just getting dropped. Down to 127 with that unit. Down to 109 with that unit. More shots coming in. We have some Balearic Slingers over here firing down into the Seleucid Swordsman as well. All right, let's see how we're looking over here. This is starting to fall apart a little bit for the defenders already, though. Little bit of a problem. Little bit of a problem. But there is more infantry right here. They could easily shift some of these Chosen Swordsmen up to try and help uh, at least maintain this front area if they wanted to. Let's see what the Ballistas are up to. 94. Looks like he might still have a shot. Athens there out, 178 kills, very nice. Oh, okay, here we go, here comes Seleucid. Moving his army forward, there you go. I mean, it's a little late, but little, hey, better late than never. Better late than never, this unit, get, unfortunately, getting crushed, though. 81 men, oh, they just got rear charged. Kind of, kind of rear charged. That was a big charge, though. Mercenary Skitardi getting in there. Oh, brutal. Here comes Athens again, charging in. You can see the Gallic Hunters are running away there. Uh, I think this unit is planning on staying up here. We do have a unit of Libyan infantry up on the hill there for Carthage, so maybe he's going to try and just hold this hill as long as possible. They are getting some really good shots. Is this the same Thorax? I don't know. It has 157 kills, though, so it might not be. That might be a completely brand new, well, was a brand new unit. Now, unfortunately, gone. But 160 kills, not too bad. Not too bad. All right, what do we still have outside here? Rome has so much left out here. Do we have any cavalry outside? Why is Rome kind of in this formation? I don't see any cavalry out here, so I'm not really sure what this defensive stance is all about. He's got all of his heavier hitters back here. Is he bringing up Evocati? Okay, he's bringing up the Evocati now. So that should be able to do a decent amount of damage, again, unless they got shot to you know where. Uh, but all right, we got some Syrian heavy archers here now starting to fire up onto the wall. Maybe trying to shoot into this Chosen Swordsman. I'm not really sure who they're firing at. They're, unfortunately, they're shooting at the tower. They're kind of getting arrows. Their arrows are kind of getting caught by the towers there. 
And they're barely shooting anything. What is going on? Yeah, here we go. A proper volley. There we go. Firing into the back of the Arverni Chosen Swordsman. That was a healthy volley right there. Very nice. Only seven kills, but at least it was more than just like one or two guys firing. You know, that definitely helps out when more than one person is firing an arrow in an archer unit of 160 men, well, 117 men. I just got shot in the leg. That probably didn't feel nice. All right, so some more Libyan infantry going to charge up into this thorax. So another unit of uh, Libyan infantry right here holding the line, waiting. I don't think the Slavey Freeman is going to be around very much longer. So that's probably why they just have a bunch of infantry. What is this? Noble Cavalry General for Carthage rushing over here. What did he run over here for? I mean, in all seriousness, that Noble Cav could come right out over here and just have a blast just get so many kills kill both of these units of Syrian archers easily easily there's nothing really over here defending them and actually wait a second where did the Seleucid force go is that where the Carthage general is going yep Carthage general is coming outside okay uh, but where did oh there they are I guess all the units that came over here died. Oh, yeah, they did. Yeah, that's all. That's pretty much all Seleucid. That's pretty much all Seleucid troops right there. Yeah, that's even more Seleucid troops. So Seleucid has given up on his attack over on this side by himself. Not a bad idea. Oh, my God, this archer unit. Oh, my God, this archer unit. 158 with the Balerics. Galax, 95, 75, that unit there with eight. But, yeah, they're done. Stop firing. Wait, save your ammo. Stop firing, they're broken. There's no point in still firing at them. Zero point at all to continue firing at them. All right, back inside the settlement. Yes, yeah, Seleucid's actually taking control of the front. He's got some, uh, some of his pikemen that have moved up here. Getting really close to have a pike stack, though. So this, th this, this thorax is, oh, sorry, this silver shield's gonna have to pull back if this pike unit continues to make their way forward, which looks like they still are. Looks like they're still pressing their way in. Yeah, I'd say those pikes are engaged now. Is absolutely yeah he's definitely engaged Every, actually wait a second all these Seleucid troops just pressed right in here Seleucid is just trying to bulldoze his way through it looks like another unit of thorax coming down over here lone unit of thorax they are in shield wall so they'll be able to block some of the arrows Carthage general did come outside but it looks like yeah he was way too late way too late another Syrian archer was able to get away so that first unit that was here got wrecked though so that's definitely a good thing for the defenders, getting rid of a Syrian archer unit. But the rest of them have now made their way inside. There's two, three of them right there. So these Syrians are all inside. 14, 22, this unit there with 10. So they definitely have a lot of ammunition left to go. Uh, Cretan archers, I'm oh, sorry, regular archer with four kills. 127 on that Cretan. It's bringing up another of them right there. Zero and zero, so okay. Good amount of ammo still for the Cretan archers there for Athens and Rome's archers. Yeah, they've just kind of hung out outside. One of them actually sneaked a kill. That's pretty cool. Uh, as soon as I say they've held the health outside, here they come. Coming inside the settlement now. Now, it looks like the attackers have captured this hilltop. Or maybe not. Maybe Seleucid's making his way up over here just to make sure. 
because we did have an, have an archer unit and an infantry unit up here, but I don't see any dead bodies on this hill right now, so unless maybe they came down and I just didn't see it, which, I mean, is definitely possible. It's absolutely possible, but if they did not, if they, I'm sorry, if the attackers did kill everything that was on this hilltop, those Syrians right there, right up here, and just start firing down into those rear lines of the defenders. But so far, the defenders still holding pretty well. Looks like they're holding pretty well. Well, maybe not on that side. This guy's going to get lost. If they break through this unit here, this unit of Chosen Swordsman's dead. I would have pulled them back. Maybe not Maybe not pushed them in further. I might have pulled them back. Engineer Cohort, Thorax, Swordsman, Thorax, Swordsman. Though they are exhausted. Get ready for some javelins, boys. Yeah, they're throwing a little bit. A little bit. I think I just saw the Syrians going up. Yep, Syrians are coming up here. Syrian archers for room. Room? How about just Rome? How about that? All right, so over here, this thorax. Oh, yeah, they're getting wrecked. 131 kills, though. Silver Chevron. Chosen Swordsman, 167 kills. Arrow Tower is still giving assistance. We have another unit of Thoreos right there behind him. 116 kills with only 120, well, with only, but 128 men left in the unit. And they, believe it or not, guys, Chosen, uh, Thoreos Spears actually have an okay charge bonus. I don't know if you've ever noticed that before, but Thoreo Spears, 26 charge bonus. Really isn't that bad. I mean, if you're looking at an Oathsworn, one of the top tier melee infantry units in the game, uh, you know, one of the top elite units in the game, 35 charge bonus. The Thoreos with 26. It's actually really good charge bonus there. Really good charge bonus. The Chosen Swordsman only with a 27. All right, here we go. More Thorax coming around. 57 kills, 97 men left in the unit. Uh, this unit did fall back, 37, 133. I guess he just didn't want them to break. But Seleucid, just the monster they are. Plowing into this front line of Arverni again. All sorts of grouped up. Honestly, hold on a second. I'm going to see. Is that Saba artillery still over there? Yeah, it is. I'd be firing right here. Right there with this sub artillery, no doubt in my mind, that's exactly where I'd be shooting. Look at all that thorax just stacked up. 90 men, the general has 100. Thorax, 43, 152, 137, and 117. Yeah, I'd be firing my artillery right there. Oh, he's bringing his thorax pikemen up here as well? He's just stacking everything. What is going on? Where's his other pikemen unit? Is it dead? Must be. Yeah, I think it is. I only see the one pike unit. But they are going. Hi, oh, gosh. The Lucid leading the way. With everything leading the way. Alright, so. Front part of the settlement obviously has been pretty much taken over by the attackers. So we're going to move on back and see what the defenders start having for their second line of defense. Mercenary Moscow Marauders. Got some Sam Knights. More Sam Knights. Probably Libyan Infantry. Oh, no. Noble Fighters. There you go. Noble Fighters can be good. Mascot. 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 Uh, Levy Freeman. We got some more Scutari right there. Very nice. Blurk Slingers pulling back. 171 kills. Very nice. Two Bronze Chevrons. So they got some kills. They definitely killed some good units. Cretan Archers here. Full ammo. Oh, uh, we got some more Levy Freeman. Three more units. Three units of Levy Freeman back here. And another one over here. A lot of Levy, Levy Freeman from Arverni. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of Levy Freeman. Right, looks like everybody else is going to start making their way inside the settlement here. Seleucid's not slowing down, though. He's still going. Seleucid is just like not... Oh, my God. Bye, Seleucid. <laughs> Never mind. Goodbye, Seleucid. Oh, my God. Is this just two Sabine Camel Cataf? Yes, it is. Two camel cataphracts coming in, and they are going to obliterate these Seleucid lines. 
just plowing on through. Actually, he didn't get very many kills. 16 kills with that unit. The shooter here with 22. So, yeah, not the greatest. But, oh, look at this. Arverni coming down. Or coming out, I should say. Coming out of the back lines here. Chosen Swordsman and the Osworn General coming down here. Sabine Camel Cataphracts didn't lose anybody in that unit. This unit. The other unit. Uh, he's lost a couple. He's down eight. He's down to 72. 21 kills. That was shot. I did not see that happening. <laughs> I did not see that happening there at all from Saba. Well done. They were hidden over here for a long time. Unless maybe they were outside. And maybe he just brought them in. I don't really know. I don't really know, but they are not done. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's not a big enough Toreo Spear unit to, to hold that. Oh, God. Archers, run for your lives. Oh, my God. Saba coming through. Getting into these Cretans. They look like they, they might have had some ammo left. I don't remember if they had their bows. I was just honestly very excited to see these Camel Cataphracts coming down. But the, the attackers now bringing a lot more infantry over here. We have the Royal Piltash General, some more Thoreo Spears, and an Evo Kade. So yeah, that cavalry is going to run away. 67 and 78. So that unit actually lost two. This unit here down another couple more, down to 65. But this is another big opportunity right here. If you can get over there and get into these Syrian archers. Oh, wait, never mind. Never mind, don't do it. The Rayo Spears coming around. All right, so let's see what happened. The Osmo General came down. He's got 17 kills. He lost 15 men, though. I don't think that was really worth it. Really don't think that was worth it. Chosen Swordsman here, though. Oh, Archer Fire coming in. A beaten up unit of Thorax. Yep, beaten up Thorax coming up. 62 men, 99 kills. Second unit of Thorax. Oh, those are Silver Shields. Is that both Silver Shields? No, it's a Thorax and a Silver Shield. But Silver Shield in their shield wall. Moving up. Going to try and help out these two beaten up units of Thorax against the Chosen Swordsman. There we go. That's a good I thought he was about to pull back. I thought he was about to pull back. There we go. Okay, a nice little... Nice little close-up view there. Somebody just lost their leg. Let's see how they're doing. Still holding up pretty well. Oh, what the... Oh, they ran outside. Did they get killed? Oh my god, they did. They got killed. At least one of them did. This one took so... Oh my god. What happened? Oh yeah, they just got murdered. Looks like Saba forgot they were over here. They just got completely killed. Rome has now captured up these gates. That's huge. What a huge turnaround there. Oh, look at this. The attacker's actually pressing in over on this side pretty good. Seleucid's still leading the way, kind of. We do have a little bit of Thorax Swordsman over here. Silver, uh, sorry, the Royal Peltas General stacked up with the Thorax Pikeman again, though. Yeah, they're definitely they're definitely pike stacking on this side. The pikes just making their way up that hill. Royal Peltas Cheryl gonna stick behind, stay behind, and try and take out the rest of that mascot marauder. Three units of mascot marauders, but yeah, the pikes are just gonna keep on moving forward. I said, I don't care, man. I don't care. We're going to keep moving forward. Oh, never mind. They just got charged. Levy Freeman coming down with a charge. Yeah, they're out of here. 88 kills. Oh, my God. They're getting wrecked. I think that was a... Cre uh, yeah, Mascot Marauder coming over here as well. 
Comes more Levy Freeman charging down. Oh, what happened over here? 103, 88. Oh, I guess Seleucid kind of... Did Seleucid leave? He just charged archers in that still had ammo. That's why I'm wondering. At least I thought they still had ammo. They only have 88 kills. I would have figured they'd still have some more. 119, 103. This shows its swords with 162 kills. Yeah, I figured he was going to get a lot. Oh, they just broke. Oh, no. Everything just broke right here. They need infantry over on this side. Quickly. Rome looks like they're going to be the ones that answers the call, though. What do we have? Armored Legionnaires. Armored Legionnaires. Evocate cohort. Armored Legionnaires. So three Armored Legionnaires and an Evocate. Making their way over here, but oh boy, the Syrians starting to take some losses. Yeah, those Gallic hunters, those Gallic hunters getting some shots in onto those Syrians, pushing them back. Run away, Syrians. Run away. But all right, Arverni's going to try and be aggressive. I don't think that was a good idea to try and be aggressive. Uh, one unit of beaten up chosen swordsmen charging down into two armored legionnaires. Probably wasn't the greatest idea. Yeah, poor runaway. Try, try and save yourself. Peel in the back. Peel in the back. Murder six. Out. 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 Oh my God! That guy just took one to the arm, and he's like, "Nah, fine. I'm running home. I'm getting out of here. I'm fine though." Oh wait, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. What is this? Saba's got more cavalry. Shocker. I know. Camel cataphracts outside. How many did he bring? Oh, they're charging in over here. Trying to charge in onto these Thoreos. Oh, they have another unit over here. What is going on over here? Where did these guys come from? Tell me they can't. How, no, they couldn't have come through the breach. They did. They came through the breach. How did they get around? Oh, my God. Well, we got Saba Cataphracts. Sabian Camel Cataphracts in over on this side. We have another unit right there. Don't know if that's a unit coming inside, though. Because there's another unit right here. The unit banners are really... 44. I'm trying to see where this one is. 43. Is that them? I think that is them. 43 kills. 43 kills. Yes, yeah, good. This is the rest of that unit there. Somehow the bannerman got all the way up over there, but this unit's going to get murdered. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh my God. Ow. Poor camels. Poor camels. That was pretty brutal. It was pretty brutal. Uh, back over on this side, I, I don't know what the Saba general's doing. He's staying in melee. He's dead. Did he die? He's probably dead. He might not be dead. He's not dead yet, but he's going to die. He's completely surrounded. Yeah, they're done. This cataphract over here, I don't really know what they were doing, but they're dead too. So I don't really know what happened, why Saba did that with his cavalry. Uh, he does still have his artillery here, though. He has not turned it around. And firing pretty much anywhere over here would be great. Turn around and start firing that artillery into this Roman blob would be a great thing. But all right, back down over here. Here comes a citizen cavalry for Athens. They're running up. Maybe he's just going to try and break through, or maybe he's going to try and get into these Gallic hunters. Maybe the Balearics there. 238 with a Balearic, though. All right, citizen cavalry kind of walking through some Thoreos a little bit. Yeah. I mean, I guess that you, they were on the edge a little bit there. Levy Freeman now broken, though. But oh boy. Another Osworn coming down. Two more units of Osworn that I can see, not counting the general. So we have three Osworn still on the battlefield. That citizen cavalry was like, nope, 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 nope. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm leaving now. I'm leaving now. I don't want to have anything to do with you. Oh, my God. There's another Osworn. Five Osworn. Wow. I'm really interested to see what, arm, what uh, Arverni's army comp was. One, two, three, four. There was the one up at the beginning. Five. Five Osworn. 
Maybe that's why he has so many Levy Freeman. But he had some chosen. I'm kind of really interested to see what his army comp's going to be when we get to the uh, end there. But look at this. Mercenary Sam Knights tossing all those javelins for nothing. For pretty much nothing. Eight kills. Eight kills. All those javelins. The Vakade cohort charging in. Cretan archers back over there, getting some shots off. Yep, Cretan archers. We're just firing 40 kills so far. We got the Gallic hunters now making their way forward. I don't know if they're at it. Oh, wait, wait, whoa, we got more. Where did you come from? I thought they were all dead. All right, well, Saba Cataphract's still rumbling around over here, but I think that Citizen Cavalry is going to take them out. Yeah, they're done. Again. Only 58 kills for that unit of cataphracts. I don't know what that plan was. Really don't know what the plan was there. But you can see, look at all those horses. Look at all of those horses right there. Not horses, sorry, camels. Dead. Dead. I don't even think they got that many kills. I really don't think they got that many kills. This one here was 60 kills down to 9 men left in the unit. That is pretty rough. All right, so, but Rome making some presses up over here now. Still have Sabian infantry there. We actually have some archer fire. There you go. Cretan archers firing down into the Roman units. Should be firing into that unit right there. Definitely get a lot more kills. This unit kind of has their shield still in front of them to a degree. Actually, no, shoot, yeah, shooting into either one of these units actually would be good. Oh, Carthage units starting to fire, starting to break down. We do have some more mascot marauders right behind them, though. What do we have over here? I saw they were pikes. African pikemen? Okay. All right, so Rome is starting to break through here again. Balance of power is still kind of even. It's a little in favor of the attackers at this moment, though. But we do have a little less than 20 minutes, about 18 and a half minutes left in the battle. And uh, it's definitely been going on for a while. This was almost an hour-long replay. So hopefully you guys are enjoying. Again, make sure like, comment, subscribe on the video. Definitely helps it out. Share the content around. Share my channel around. That would be amazing. Okay, so Athens has stopped on this side. I don't blame him completely. I really don't blame him completely at all because uh, he kind of lost a lot of his army. Like he has some thorax still over here. 160, 160. Oh, is his general? Oh, his general's dead. Did not even notice that. The Hippias Lancer general is dead. Oh, what about Rome's general? Is he still alive? Oh, maybe not for long. He's getting shot. The Roman general is getting shot. Oh, my God. Yeah, run away, General. Run, run away. Just lost three more. Not seeing anything saying the General is dead, though. Wow, he lost. Still losing more. Luckily, none of those were the General. Very luckily, none of those were the General. Uh, Saba's still sitting over here with his artillery, though. I mean, as the attackers are making their way forward... Firing here with that artillery just to make use of it. You can see he'd be able to fire right down the length of that building there. To get shots pretty much in this area forward. Yeah, 
Yeah, right here. Like, he'd be able to just blast into that Dorios. It doesn't look like he's making use of it for some reason. Maybe he doesn't know how to turn it. Left, alt, right, click, bang. It will turn around and start firing. And then you can hit insert to manually fire along with the, uh, with the auto fire from the AI. There you go. Little tip. Little tip. Little tip. Little tip. All right. So we got some Doreo sitting over here. 87, 125. Pretty good. 125. Still with that many men too. 116 men. Very nicely done. Uh, thorax here, zero kills, lost five, 19 kills, lost none. What do we have? Oh, Ivokade coming up. Where are the Praetorians? Where are his Praetori? Oh, they're back here. Three units of Praetorian Guard, zero kills, 21 kills, and 34 kills. Whew. It was all from that cataphract that came in there, though. All right, let's see the Roman. I'm sorry, not the Roman. The Arverni general over here, 129 kills, 91 left in the unit. Gonna have a little bit of a problem though. Yep. Oh my God. Yep. Yeah. Little problem. Little problem. Lost 13. 13 on that javelin volley or the peel of volley, I should say, from Rome. Very, very nicely done there by Rome. That Osborne general just get wrecked. Yeah, he did. Oh my God, he's down to 45 men. Peel is still coming in. Now we got the Roman archers firing. Oh no, Cretan archers there from Athens. So the Arverni general is done. Arverni general is done. Yep. Just recently died. Balance of power is definitely shifting more in favor of the attackers now obviously as two of the three defenders have lost their general and this is wide open oh my god look at this Gallic hunters running for their lives we have more Gallic hunters Cretan archers running away as well 163 kills do they still have ammo they do okay so that unit still has ammo I'm guessing the Gallic hunters don't since they charged into melee they didn't just run away like that Noble Cavalry General still sitting over there. Here we go. More Gallic Hunters running. They have, don't have ammo. The Noble Horse General for Carthage charging down into this unit of Thorax Swords from there, trying to do some damage. Uh, we do still have one, two units of Osworn, three units of Osworn for Arverni. It looks like they are going to try and pull away, though. Athens looking really beaten up. He's got five units left, six units left in his seven. Seven units left. Archers. Two, three Thorax, the Citizen Cavalry, and two units of Thoreos. But a lot of his army looks really, really, really beaten up. Oh, Spawn, here they come, charging down into this Thorax. Probably going to get these uh, Armored Legionnaires as well. They're trying to run. They are trying to run away. Why is the Noble General running down here? Go back up there. Noble Horse, Noble Cavalry, whatever, get out of here. The Osworn are here to do some work. Kind of getting pinned in here. What do we have? Some noble fighters now coming down. They actually got a nice little rear charge there. The Osworn trying to run away, though. They're running through the noble fighters, just trying to get away. Just trying to get away from that Roman charge. Evocati cohort coming in with a flanking charge. Arverni definitely needs to turn back around, though. Definitely needs to turn back around. Help these uh, noble fighters out. Get a charge in there. Noble fighters starting to drop. Starting to drop. No, 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 don't let them retreat. Chase them. Chase them. Don't let their archers get kills. Syrians are firing. They were firing, I think. 207, 110, 107. Good amount of kills there. Um, in all seriousness, for the attack, for as far as the defenders are concerned, this right here wouldn't be a bad idea to press out on. 
an Osworn, and if they have another decent melee infantry still kind of hanging out back there, they could probably wreck all of that and and make this a wide open area for the for the attackers to have to worry about. It's really not a lot of attackers. Yeah, it's Rome. It's pretty much just Rome. Here we go. Thorax making their way forward again. We're going to get some javelins. Or are we going to have the... Oh, no. Is the no... Uh, don't do that. Well, 87 kills. Maybe they don't. Right, so I'd lead with the O Sword. I would honestly lead with the O Sword. But javelins being thrown back and forth. Thorax swordsmen. Noble fighters. Throwing in there. Very nice. Yeah, the Osworn, I would push down with the Osworn. Oh, he still has another full unit. That's right. So this Osworn could honestly, I'm just throwing, just throwing things out there. This Osworn could stay here. This one and this one come down over here. would be able to clean up that whole side easily. And then this Osworn can come over here and help out. Gallic Hunters disappearing into the fog of war. Got to love it. Got to love it. Shooting over here, though, into the Osworn. Ooh, just killed a little bit. Yeah, he definitely did get some kills there. All right, let's see. 110 down to... Whoa! 18 kills on that volley. Nice. It was a good volley. Definitely a good volley. Uh, oh, we got their three are moving up. They're moving up. They're moving up. The lyrics going to charge down. We got pikes now coming down, too. Uh, maybe one of the pikes comes over here. The other pike could just hang out up here. I mean, that Osworn, just that one Osworn moving down there would probably kill both of those Thoreos by himself. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Don't line up like that with the pikes. Please don't line up like that with the pikes. The Syrians could wreck you. Well, the Syrians look like they're way too focused on this side. Getting rid of a Gallic Hunter, okay. Not a bad idea, but oh, here they go. They're going to start shifting. They're going to come over here. They're going to come right over into this area somewhere and start firing across into those pikes, I bet. I bet that's what they do. Mm, no. Pikes. Oh, wait. The pikes are moving down. One of the pikes is moving down here a little bit. Oswan moved over. Os oh, so all three of the Oswan still hanging out. Yep, there it goes. So all three green, li green lights and all three red arrows. And they're going to murder this pike unit. Oh my god, these pikes are going to get destroyed. There's another volley. Down to 132 already. 130, so they've lost 30 men already. Second unit of pikes is going to fall back. His first unit's still moving forward. Losing a couple more. He's only gotten 13 kills, 17. All right, he's getting some more. He's getting some more, but they're definitely... Now they're just going to get shot completely in the back. Athens doing a pretty good job baiting this unit of pikes out. He's losing one of his Thoreos, but they'll probably come back. There's still over 100. Oh, no, nope, never mind. 95. 92. They did get away, though. This pike unit just got wrecked. Wrecked. Oh, my God. More big-time shots coming from those Roman units. Back over on this side, I mean, in all seriousness, if I was, if I were the defenders, I don't know. I feel like the, they kind of missed out. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Here we go. Arverni charge right in there into this uh, Evocate. Help out the Noble Fighters. Losing decisively, though. Yeah, he's definitely going to need to get in there. That yeah, Pike is dead. 68 men left in the unit. 58 kills. Thoreos caught them again. But Pike's coming down. Waver? Nope, he's just pulling them back. Just pulling them back. Now, do these archers still have ammo? I don't know. Oh, they do. Two, three. Yeah, all three of those Syrians still have ammunition. Yeah, that was a little bit of a mistake. I feel like that was a pretty big mistake there. Arverni, honestly, Arverni should have sent one of his Oswin down there to clean that up. Because now they're going to have to deal with this. Got some Thoreos Spears, like I said before, with a pretty okay charge bonus. 
Getting into the back of that already damaged Noble Fighter. 65 men left, 272 kills though with that unit. Not bad at all. The other unit there with only 138. But here comes those purple cloaks. Oh God, Rome waited just for the right time. Praetorian Guard coming in to help out the fight. Is that all three or is that just two of them? Two of the units of Praetorian Guard have made their way in. Here comes the Carthage General. He's going to charge down in here, try and get into some of those Praetorian Guard. Don't really think he did a whole lot of helping. He might have actually charged it onto the back of that Osworn. Legionnaire Cohort, 221 kills, 13 men. They are wavering. Looks like that's the other Evil Cotty, actually. 186 kills. They're on their way out. Balance of Power is still looking in favor of the attackers, though. But, oh, look at this. They have another Cretan Archer unit. 227 kills. Or 226. I mean, they probably don't have a whole lot of ammo left. It's firing into these Romans. Oh, no. They were killing the uh, Levy, the uh, Thoreo Spears. Flanking charge by the Praetorians. Yeah, we're kind of getting ready to wrap up here. But I mean, no, there's another there's still 92 more Osworn there. The Carthage General charging down again. In all seriousness, this Carthage General probably should be out over here. Kind of trying to get into the back of the Roman forces. I mean, if he can clean out some of these archers, that would definitely help out with the balance of power, even if he could get into that general. If he could kill that Legatus general, that would be huge. But he's still just charging down here, unfortunately charging into the back of the Osworn, knocking them down, knocking them forward, losing some of his charge bonus. 63 charge bonus, not really getting the full amount. Really feel like this Carthage general should be around on the other side. Wait, what is this? Great Archer coming down. 315 kills. Wow. All right, so these pikes, if they wanted to move these pikes, they could move them here. Kind of block this off like that. Oh, sworn. 142. This charge, the general's continuously charging. He's not getting a full charge bonus. At least I don't think he really is. I mean, maybe he got it into that Thorax Swordsman right there, but he's definitely not getting it into the Praetorian Guard. And that Osworn now getting removed from the battle. Balance of Power still looking really heavy in favor of the attackers. But it's still, I don't remember, I don't know what all, they might still have some infantry back here. Oh, this pike line just moved too far forward. Way too far forward. So this thorax is going to get into the back of them. And the Roman still has ammo. Yeah, the Roman archers still had ammo. I even knew they still had ammo. So unfortunately, that pike unit is now getting littered. Just like the other unit did. Just getting absolutely hammered. Oh, and they have another Praetorian right there. Who's going to charge right into the back of them. So goodbye, pikes. Goodbye, Pikes. You are dead. You will die now. Another unit of pikemen right there, African pikemen. 61 men left in the unit. I mean, the Oswald are actually still kind of holding. Never mind. He's only got 19 men left. Here comes another charge, though. He's going to charge it. This is a good charge. Charging it into the back of the Praetorian Guard. That was a very good charge. That one was a very, very good charge. Unfortunately, the Osworn broke. But we still have this Osworn there. 184 kills. 67 left in the unit, taking out a unit of Praetorian Guard. But that Pike unit just got destroyed. And we have another unit of Praetorian Guard just hanging out right there. Praetorian Guard destroyed. Wow. Where's that Carthage General? He's kind of still hanging out. Oh, no. Yeah, this Osworn. Well, actually, charge in there and then bounce this way. 
Bounce that way. I would try and come over here and maybe take out the general. Oh, the general's charging you. God. Heavy command general charging in. Carthage general still there. 39 men left in the unit. I don't know if his general... It doesn't look like his general's dead. Yeah, there you go. He's giving himself buffs. Very nice. Very, very nice. Osworn's still fighting away. 213 kills for the Osworn, but they're currently taking on some pretty... Oh, that's a full unit of Praetorian. Rome must be out of ammunition now, though. Coming over here, getting into the rest of these Cretans. I mean... Bring the pikes down now. There's no point in keeping them up there. But I still think that the Carthage General should come over here and get a good, solid charge into that Legatus. If he can do a lot of damage, if he charged over there, but it doesn't look like he's going to. Yeah, that last Osworn just got taken out. 218 kills for the Osworn, though. 38 seconds left. I mean, it was close. It was close. There might have been a couple of changes. I mean, first and foremost, that Arverni force, if if that smaller Ar smaller Oswan that was over here and the big one that was here, if they had pressed down into Athens, they would have cleaned up anything that was over here so those Thoreos would have never gotten the rear charges on this side against those noble fighters. And also, I mean, with the noble cavalry general, if he had followed down around over here and gotten into the back of Rome, that might have changed things. Might have. I can't say 100%, but it might have changed some things. Definitely an overall really solid battle, though. Uh, there were some issues. There were some things. I, I kind of got to the point where I think Seleucid DC'd at some point. Uh, I don't really know what Saba was doing with his cavalry. I'm not, again, I don't know if maybe he DC'd as well. I mean, the general kind of charged it over here and just sat there and got killed. And then he had another unit charging over here through the breach. And you can see just by the evidence right there, they got killed as well. So, but all right, guys, let's get into the ending army compositions. We'll first take a look at Oversteer playing as Athens. He was the one that sent the replay in. 2,809 kills. Very nicely done. Very, very nicely done. 38 with his general, so his general definitely lost. Uh, 182 kills with the Ballista. Citizen Cavalry, 68. Archers, 155. Cretans, 139, 195, 138. Uh, getting in with his Thorax, 141, 148, 219, 178, 196, 143, and 160. His Thoreos, wow, 138, 137, 137, 151. Great job with the Thoreos. Uh, getting in with Patin, Patinho, I guess. Zerha, I don't know how to say your name, but 28-15 with Rome. General only six kills. His archers, 186, 169, 254. Great job there. Armored Legionnaires, 186, 173. Evocate, 134, 195, 226. Uh, his study top unit was a 58 his legionnaire cohort 221 218 and his praetorians coming in 171 185 and 127 and then we have ceiling fan here playing with Seleucid 1358 111 on his general archers 107 103 88 silver shields 156 pikemen got wrecked uh his thorax swords this the, re the rest of his army's thorax swordsmen and i don't think they did very well yeah 119 101 the rest of them top appears to be a 65 getting it out to the defenders we have kill a cam 2020 with carthage 2650 kills great job there third most kills in the game great job uh 82 with his general slingers 255 great job 174s 272 393 with a cretin great stuff there uh unfortunately his pikes they just kind of got shot down that was a little rough but again i, I really feel like if our Verney had pressed those two units of osworn down Onto that Athenian side where the Thoreos were. That might have cleaned that section up a little bit cleaner than it was. Uh, his Libyan infantry, unfortunately, not a whole lot. Top unit there was 97. Italian swords were 91. Uh, his noble fighters, actually, 152, 310. Great job with the noble fighters. Sam Knights, one unit there with 139. And his Scutari, 121, 146. Then we have Weedy G here with our Verney, 141 with the general archers, 133, 119, 128. Chosen swords, 171. He actually had five chosen swords. Oh, he had seven chosen swords. Wow. Seven chosen swords. So 171, 183, 133. His Osa 1, 218, 212, 176, and 143. And the Levy Freeman top unit, of course, 69, Giggity. You're the winner. Beautiful. Then we have Simo Haya here with Saba. 1603, 102 with the General, so not bad. A lot of Sabian cataphracts, though. A lot of Sabian cataphracts. Again, 
Top was a 69. Giggity. Double giggity. That's awesome. Uh, his Sabian Archers didn't get a whole lot. One unit there with 186. Not that great. And the rest of his army makeup here is Moscow Marauders. 133, 116, 69, giggity. Uh, 103, 104, 93. So some of them doing up to 92. So some of them, four of them over 100. Uh, they had two that were close. So not too bad. Not too bad. But all right, guys, there you go. That is the end of the battle replay here for today. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, please make sure hit the like button on the video. Share it around. Of course, drop some comments down. I love reading you guys' comments, even responding to some of them. And uh, yeah, share the channel around. Subscribe if you're new. But that's going to be the end. So have a good rest of your day. Stay safe. And as always, until the next one. Hey guys, I just wanted to take this opportunity to send a special thanks to my Patreon supporters and my YouTube members. Thank you very much for your continued support. I really appreciate it.